Welcome to Disturbing Ideas. I'm Pat Boyle. Each week we present an idea that is indisputably true, but which is seldom discussed anywhere else because it makes some people uncomfortable. Tonight we discuss climate change. I'm going to tell you a few facts about climate change that you may never have heard of before. You may suspect that I'm one of those people they call a climate change denier. But that's not it. I'm telling you something tonight that is a whole lot more disturbing than just slowly rising oceans. I'm here to tell you that because of climate change, it looks like we're going to have to kill all the black people. Prepare for the Ice Age! The temperature's heading down. Freezing my tail off. Well, how do we know it's an ice age? Because of all the ice! And the whole world's heading south. <laughs> Get off me! The ice sheets advance and retreat in huge cycles. Currently, the last million years or so, we've had about 100,000 years of ice and then 110,000 years of no ice. These are usually called Milankovitch cycles. They're characteristics of the Earth's orbit around the Sun and on its own axis. There are problems with Milankovitch theory. Climatologists don't really understand our Ice Age very well. But it's no doubt about its existence. The ice is coming back. So get into your time machine and go back in time randomly and roughly 9 out of 10 times when you open the hatch, the Earth will be covered in an ice sheet. And only one time in ten will it be ice-free, like now. So most of human history has been in this current warm period. The present warm period is not normal. It's unusual, even freakish. And it's going away soon. That means the world isn't this cozy and hospitable. We'll have about 100,000 years of ice ahead of us. When our comfortable interglacial ends? No one knows. Some people think it's sooner, some people later. I think it starts to end next Thursday. Could be a thousand years, but Thursday is actually more likely because we're overdue, long overdue, for a change in the climate. The world currently supports seven billion people. When there is again two miles of ice over Chicago, the Great Plains won't be able to grow as much wheat as we do today. When the English Channel is under an ice sheet that stretches to the pole, there won't be much real stilted or cheddar available. One third of Russia is above the Arctic Circle. Their crops will drop. They won't have a five-year plan. They'll need a hundred thousand and five-year plan. Think about it. On TV, we have doomsday preppers. I personally have enough food and water to last me about two weeks. I live in earthquake zone. The serious guys on TV, however, dig underground shelters and store food enough for years. They worry about asteroid strikes and the Yellowstone eruption. Very infrequent events. But the return of the ice is quite certain. And you will need food for about hundred thousand years. Good luck with that. I estimate that the Earth will only be able to support one billion people for the next hundred thousand years. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll be able to support two billion. That's not so bad. When I was a kid, they taught me in school that there were two and a half billion people on Earth. As I remember, the world seemed okay with only that few people. Maybe we'll be happier with five or six billion fewer people. We'll know for sure soon. In San Francisco, there is a political dispute between those who favor damming Yosemite Valley 
so as to make it a reservoir like the next door Hetch Hetch Valley. And those who don't, it doesn't matter. Soon both valleys will be again under a couple thousand feet of ice, sweeping away any pathetic little human constructed dam. This may be a political dispute again in the year 102,000. When the ice comes, mankind, which had migrated out of tropical Africa to the fringes of frozen Europe and frozen Asia, will have to go back near the equator again. Mankind came out of Africa and will have to go back again. China soon will be reinvading Africa now that the Europeans have withdrawn. Air Zimbabwe is teaching their stewardesses to speak Chinese. Most people on earth right now will become excess people, what Adam Smith called unnecessary mouths. Now the nice way to do this would be, I suppose, to reduce the population proportionately so that we have some of every variety preserved. We as Americans might do just that when we invade Mexican, Mexico on our way south. Americans are nice. We might let a hundred million of our own people starve to death so as to preserve space for a hundred million Mexicans. That would be nice. But will the Chinese be nice? Will they exterminate their own people so as to preserve black people? China's a big power with a big population. They likewise have a big heart? I don't know. We'll find out. People in the middle climes will be forced back to the tropics. The people in the tropics will be in the way. My guess is there will be no room for blacks. So white people will have to get used to watch other white people play basketball. All human races came from Africa. My recent DNA analysis said that I was 2.9% Neanderthal. That's about average for Europeans. That means, therefore, I'm more than 97% African. We were all Africans just 50,000 years ago, when some of our ancestors walked out of the dark continent and formed new races in Europe, Asia, Australia, and the Americas. Now with the coming of the ice again, all the advanced races that were formed in the temperate zones will have to go back to the tropics. So a lot of us are going to become Africans again. But there won't be room for all. Climate change means race change. Thank you for your attention. Please tune in again next week. On the car, the swallow from the bar.